Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. The victory today is mine. Come on, y'all, help me. Victory is mine. Mm. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Mm. I told Satan to get thee behind. Cause victory today is mine. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to this thing we call a mental house. With me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Y'all, a lot of y'all know that I love gospel music, and that was that's my first love. Um my first singing experience actually have been from the church uh, where I was ostracized from. Uh, but the music is still in my heart. Okay. And of course, because I, I give you this little history. Um, and in the nation, we weren't encouraged to do a lot of singing. So I had to leave both. <laughs> In order to try to find out who I was. And you know what? It took a long time to find this place. It took a long time to see happen. Yes, it did. Y'all get it. But let me get into this story with y'all today. Because this is something I think is near and dear to my heart. I wish you guys knew how to act. I really wish you knew how to act. But since you don't, let me just say this. For those of y'all who don't know what happened last night in Milwaukee, Patty LaBelle was whisked off the stage by the security because of a bomb threat at a concert venue where the crowd was safely evacuated, but investigation is ongoing. Now, Patty was at the Riverside Theater. She said she wasn't going to come back um, after it was when we, when we first, when they renovated it, um, she said it was rats running around there as big as cats. And she, she said she wasn't coming back to the Riverside no more, but I see, I mean, she changed her mind. But anyway, she was taken off stage by her security mid-show after a reported bomb threat at the Milwaukee's Riverside Theater where she was singing on Saturday. In a video shared by concert goer, the legendary singer, 78, is seen speaking to the crowd moments before two security guards stormed the stage. Um, Patty says to the men, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. It was funny, Patty went straight sister on them. Wait, 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 what's up? Hold up, hold up. <laughs> uh, and one of the men uh, quickly whispered something in, uh, in her ear and a singer's demeanor, uh, demeanor from laid back to panicked. Two security guards helped her off the stage, sending the crowd into an uproar with many screaming loudly towards the stage as others expressing confusion. Now, according to a reported statement by the Milwaukee Police Department, the audience was safely evacuated from the venue and the investigation is fluid and ongoing. Uh, I didn't get anybody to call me last night to tell me what happened or any, so that must mean everybody I know was in bed. Except Patty. Uh, anyway. Oh, Lord. Um, uh, uh, Patty was taken off the stage by security and um, hey they uh, went investigating obviously so they say the origin of this threat I hope y'all can hear this because my 
audio has been very janky. And um, I'm in the process of, of, of working on it. If you guys would like to donate to the channel, feel free. All donations accepted for equipment. <laughs> anyway, uh, when, when the security took her off stage, sending the crowd into an uproar, um, they didn't know what was going on, and neither did she. So uh, the unnerving clip start off calm with, Caddy, with Patty speaking to a fan in the audience while carrying the rose bouquet. She has her back turned away from the stage as two security guards clad in all black hold and grab her from behind. Patty says to the man, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, before one of them whispers something to her that quickly changes the, the uh, spirit of the singer's demeanor. And it went from laid back to panicked. So, um, you know, Captain Warren Allen, the police department, the night watch commander, he said regarding the bomb threat in the 1000 block of Wisconsin, all patrons have been safely evacuated. Police are clearing the facility at the time and the investigation is fluid and ongoing. LaBelle then drops the bouquet from her hands and shakily tries to put her microphone back on the stand, a job that is taken was taken over by a security member that emerges on the stage that night. And see, because so many nuts are out here bombing places, shooting places up, you know, as an artist, you know, once you hear something like that, well, hell, as anybody, now your whole demeanor is through. She didn't give a damn about those flowers. She didn't give it because reality set in that we have, may have a nut out here trying to destroy us from having a good time. And that's insane. Anyway, the singer's band swiftly abandoned their stations to follow behind Miss LaBelle and her security team. This sets the crowd into a total uproar with many screaming loudly towards the stage and the others expressing confusion to one another just before the video ends. A separate video that was taken outside the theater uh, it shows the concert goers standing on the sidewalk and spilling into the street and talking loudly amongst themselves. The woman who filmed the clip and posted it to Twitter said that all of the participants waiting outside uh, were waiting there after being evacuated. We don't know if we are going to go back inside the venue or what. It's up to the Riverside Theater if we can go back inside, she added in the video. Um, and that was between 9.49, uh, yeah, she tweeted that around that time. But right now, everything is on halt. So, unfortunately, I don't think, it doesn't look like the concert resumes. And, of course, after going through all of that, who would want to resume? You can't, your energy is, you know, I mean, it's possible, but I doubt as, as a, I don't know how long Patty had been performing, but I don't think that she would have continued. And actually, uh, you know, it was, it was a concern for the audience safety and, you know, her safety, of course, but sometimes, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. You know, it. So let's take a look. There's some of these comments. Somebody said, um, so you think a celebrity reason to survive is more than just a, us, Joe Public? The last time I checked, she was only human, like everyone else should be treated. Now, I don't even know how you got that out of the story. However, I think you're somebody that's looking for trouble. Because no one said that. What 
she said was the concern was for the audience safety and as well and that's truly heartwarming every the concern was for everybody but the audience didn't know because the people came and whispered in Patty Le, uh, LaBelle's ear so it wasn't like they announced it in the microphone I mean come on Anyway, if there was a device, she would never had made it, as her security detail wasted time fumbling with her. I had details where uh, a threat was detected, and if the primary did not move in a direction, um, we would literally pick them up and carry them. Patty was taking her sweet time. <laughs> Patty's 78 years old, y'all. It wasn't like that was Shakara Richardson out there. That was Shakari. Some of y'all so mean. Just, just out there. Just out there bad. Um. Anyway. I'm glad everybody's safe. And um, she left the stage without even saying goodnight, but the audience sat in shock, and there was no real threat of violence. And thank God, nothing happened at the concert. So that's, at the end of the day, that's what's up. An 80 year old is not going to be able to run and jump up out of there like y'all think she should. Okay? So, with that being said, Thought I'd do that story. Happy Sunday to you. Have a, a great day. And may God bless you, keep you, and I'll see you in the next video.